वेलकम बैक टूडे वी विल लर्न इंथेल्पी चेंज फॉर द प्रोसेस दिस सी सी एल फोर गैस टू सी गैस प्लस फोर सी एल गैस एंड एट द सेम यू कैलकुलेट करना आपको बॉन्ड इंथेल्पी ऑफ सी सी एल बॉन्ड इन सी सी एल फोर नो फर्स्ट वट इज बॉन्ड इंथेल्पी नो फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन इज बॉन्ड इंथेल्पी सो बॉन्ड इंथेल्पी इज डिफाइंड एज अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी required to break one mole of bonds like in this case c cl bond so amount of energy required to break one mole of c cl bond into its gaseous atoms now if we compare this definition of bond enthalpy with c cl4 gas to c gas plus 4 cl gas here again CCl4 gas is converted into its gaseous atoms. Mm -hmm. Now it is for one mole. Now how many bonds are broken in CCl4? You know, mm -hmm. it is like this. Mm -hmm. How many CCl bonds are broken? Mm -hmm. Four. Four. That means it is four times bond enthalpy. Mm -hmm. It is four times mm -hmm. bond enthalpy. So that implies enthalpy of this reaction is equal to four times bond enthalpy of CCl bond, and that is average bond enthalpy actually. Because when one CCl bond broken, we get CCl three. Yes. Environment is changed, yes. so enthalpy required to break second bond is different. different. So actually, this one is average bond enthalpy of. CCl bond four times average bond enthalpy of CCl. That means to calculate average bond enthalpy of CCl bond, we have to divide enthalpy of reaction by four. So our aim is to get this equation from the given data. So first is enthalpy of vaporization, and this not sign indicates standard. And what is what do you mean by standard? The measurement at two ninety eight Kelvin and one bar pressure. Okay. So first is standard enthalpy of vaporization. VAP means vaporization. So vaporization means to convert liquid into gas. gas. And for what CCl four. So that implies. first equation is ccl4 liquid to ccl4 gas gas yes. this is reaction for vaporization and energy is take it as delta h1 not actually it is enthalpy of vaporization standard enthalpy of vaporization of ccl4 we take it as delta h1 not that is 30. Point 5 kilo right now come to second enthalpy standard enthalpy of formation in previous video we have calculated enthalpy of formation of methane methane and what is enthalpy of formation amount of enthalpy change when one mole of compound is formed from its constituent atoms elements constituent elements, elements. and if it is standard so elements in their standard state so enthalpy of formation of ccl4 so first write ccl4 and ccl4 is in liquid state and elements required are carbon what is standard state of carbon very good standard state of carbon is graphite and standard state of chlorine cl2 gas chlorine is in the form of cl2 gas like in that case hydrogen h2 gas and how many cl2 gas are required two two so this is equation for the enthalpy of formation
application of CCL4 and it is delta H2 and that is minus 135.5 now come to the next thing enthalpy of atomization A stands for atomization now as the name suggests atomization means to convert into gaseous atoms any atom element or compound into its gaseous atoms that is called enthalpy of atomization standard enthalpy of atomization of carbon so that implies we have to convert carbon solid in the form of graphite into carbon gas don't write carbon g here in graphite the first letter is g if you write g that means it is gas yes so write complete carbon in the form of graphite into carbon g that means gaseous carbon and energy required is 715 kilo j point 0 last standard enthalpy of atomization of cl2 so what cl2 standard state of cl2 is cl2 gas and we convert it into its atoms atoms gaseous atoms. gaseous atoms so how many gaseous atoms are obtained two two cl gas we take one more of cl2 because it is enthalpy of atomization of cl2, CL2. so one mole of cl2 give two cl gas so in this way we get all the three sorry four equations from this data these are the values now by using these four equations we have to convert it into this so in final equation ccl4 gas is required on which side right side on left side left side CCL4 gas is required on left side, and CCL4 gas is only in this case. So we reverse the equation. CCL4 gas to CCL4 liquid. So if we reverse, what about the sign? Changes. Negative. Negative. Because it is plus, so it become minus thirty point. Now come to the second. Carbon gas. Carbon gas is on right hand right. side. On right side. Mm. In this equation is also on the right side. Mm. Same moles. Mm. So there is no need to change. Yes, sir. So keep it like this. Mm. Now next one. Yes. Four Cl, Cl gas mm. on right side. Two Cl. Two Cl. Two Cl. So we multiply this e equation by two. Four. So same operation we have to perform on enthalpy. Enthalpy. So it is two times two forty two, or we can write directly four eighty four kilos. Okay. Now, when we add these three equations, what is extra we get? We get CCL four liquid on right side. we get carbon graphite on left side we get two cl2 gas on left side that we have to cancel so to cancel it what we have to do we have to with this equation. The second equation we reverse the second equation okay so if we reverse this equation it is cl4 liquid to carbon graphite Plus two Cl two gas yeah. and sign plus yes. in this way. If we add now the CCL four gas C 
CCL4 liquid. CCL4 liquid cancer. Carbon graphite. Carbon graphite cancer. Two CL2 gas. Two CL2 gas cancer. So what is left? Carbon gas. Carbon gas. Four CL gas. Now enthalpy of this equation. As we add these four equations, we, also we have to add enthalpies. enthalpies. So it is minus 30.5 plus 135.5 plus 715 plus 484. So what is the value? 1304 kilojoule. So enthalpy change for this process has value 130, 1304 kilojoule per mole because it is enthalpy change. So it is this much kilojoule per mole and this is the energy required to break 4 CCL bonds. So average bond enthalpy. Of CCL bond is equal to 1304 divided by 4. Very good. 1304 divided by 4. So, what is the value? 326 kilojoule per mole. 326 kilojoule per mole. So, in this way, we solve this equation.